doing the Papotardosaurus Rex. And this is actually um a year old now. Um I got it well I got it a year ago. Uh they're they're actually making a new one, a brown version. It's uh they're basically they're basically coming back with a brown version that that they pretty much got rid of for a few years. So yeah, it's a pretty cool toy. You can see you can see its jaw. You can see that it opens. I really like the I really like the details in it though. Um it's a it's about five inches tall, twelve inches long, and yeah. You can see the small eyes. The binocular vision. And uh, and it's beautifully sculpted, sculpted it, sculpted. I don't know, um, inside the mouth. And and I like I like how its hands are also sculpted too. And yeah, you can see, um, you can see it, um, the underbelly, I guess. And yeah. And also, you can see each individual scale along it. It has very, uh, art-like claws, which is actually pretty cool. And, and, um, it, it has, it, it, and it has a very stiff tail, which is a very good thing. And I remember a few days after I got this, um, I... I dropped it down the stairs and it broke something. And you can see some of the ribs. You can see its rib cage a bit. You can, and you can see that it's a beautiful figure. Uh, somewhere around here, uh, it has, you can see it's branding. So yeah, you can see the top of it, and you can see these little stripes that are going, that are going down. So, so I might have gave it a, a 9 out of 10 last year, but this, but this time... I'm going to give it a um ten out of ten. Actually, I don't I don't know what what this rating. You can see, and also uh you can see its tongue, and the teeth are like the V-Rex from King Kong. But yeah. So so it's actually very um, it's a very strong toy. It doesn't. It doesn't break, which is a pretty good thing. And yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. And that's about it for the for the review. And yeah, it's a pretty cool toy.